I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? All my brothers and sisters around the world, I pray all is well with y'all. My title says, it's the giving season. Let's act like we are family. It's the giving season. We need to be in the spirit of giving and sharing love. Let's act like family. <laughs> Boy, some of y'all I know not going to like me after this video. I thought we was, you know, done with the questions for a while on holidays. But it's not so much of uh, the holiday. It's what I think about um, being at the table and the way family acts. So let's just look at family for a moment. And let me give a shout out to Jesse and Latoya. The questions y'all are asking me in this video. Now, once again, y'all, this is just me. You do not have to agree with me on a whole lot on about on what I'm about to say. I can say like that. But this is me. And from over the years, how I have left certain people alone and why I do things the way I do things. So to answer your first question, Brother Jesse, you said you surprised that I've never put a Christmas album out. And why am I not working on a Christmas album and um, that's a good question um, the thing is like I say this is just me brother Jesse um, what I stand on and what I teach like if you see me on her I don't teach holidays and I tell people all the time you know you do what you do I don't get mad at people for doing what they do but don't expect me to do what you do so to answer that question off top no I have never made a Christmas album and I don't plan on making a Christmas album because I don't want to be looking like a hypocrite to a lot of people because they see me um, teaching on here and I and I always tell people I'm not into holidays I'm into the holy days so why would I turn around and make a Christmas album you know just because everybody else is doing it I'm the type of man I don't care about what everybody else is doing I'm gonna do what I do I speak for myself so you don't have to look in the future for me coming with a Christmas album because I'm not. My little brother even asked me the same thing, man. You need to go on and make a Christmas album. I said I'm not finna make an album and and you know start coming up with songs on on things that I disagree with. So to me, if I made an album, it it'll be looking like, hey, JT talking about how he don't play along with Holiday, but then he turn around and, and and come with a Christmas album and and all that stuff. So I refuse, you know to be confusion because believe it or not it's so many people that look at me that I don't know that's looking at me and I stand on what I believe in so that's why you don't see me on her you know celebrating holidays you know and that's why I want to kind of do this video you know because you ask me how do I feel about this oh well, this is the spirit of giving you know the season of giving and this is the only time a lot of family gonna get together yeah I always say that you see, most families going to get together, first of all, at a funeral and then the holidays. So that's why I'm going to keep it real in this video. And trust me, I'm I'm saying this out of love. I, I can't sit up and worry about what folks think, you know, and they're going to they gonna judge me whether I'm doing good or doing bad. So, man, the hell with what folks think about me in the first place. That's how I feel. That's, how, that's the man that I am. I, I can't sit up and be a people pleaser. So, when I think about this is the spirit of giving. This is the holiday season. And you're talking about family. You know. I was just speaking to a young brother earlier. Who was telling me the same thing. About how he's tired of family. Just wanting to get together for a holiday. And then even on that holiday. So many family members can't stand each other. And then they have fights. Even on Christmas. Even on Thanksgiving. You see on, on family reunions. You see on so many special occasions family still fighting and then you see they fighting all year anyway and it makes you wonder about this why do you call it the the spirit of giving then when you realize December 25th ain't nowhere in the Bible you start looking at so many things and you start adding together and it makes you wonder why do we call this all about Christ when we ain't even about Christ hmm because last time I checked the stuff that I see that go on on these holidays don't have nothing to do with the spirit of Christ. It don't have nothing to do with Christ. I see more people fighting, fussing, mad, angry, jealous, envy of each other than anything. So that's why when it comes down to these holidays, you're going to see JT separate himself. 
You're going to see me all by myself. You're going to see me not playing along with so many things. If you see me with my family, you're going to see me with my family all the time. It's certain family members that I love to be around. And it's then it's those family. Let me just keep it real because even if my daddy looking at this video, he and my mama, they know how I keep it real. I love hanging with my mom's side of the family. But on my daddy's side, I can't stand a lot of the hypocrites. I can't stand being around them certain ones who just religious. They don't want to do nothing. You can't listen to no other kind of music. You can't play domino. You can't have a sip of wine. You can't do nothing. It's can't, can't, can't this. And why in the hell would I want to be around that? Folks sitting up acting all fake and things. So well, that's why I just, I, I'm just the same, y'all, all year I'm the same all year round, y'all. Y'all see me. We got 365 days in here. I bet you I'm going to try to stay the same every day. I'm not going to act no certain way because it's, oh, man, get into the holiday spirit. I don't have a holiday spirit. I get into the Holy Spirit. And being in the Holy Spirit and, 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 and dealing with religious folks and people that love to play along with a lot of different things, man, a lot of times they're going to be against you. They're going to, oh, he act like he different. He don't want to be. He don't want to be with the family. It's not that you don't want to be with with the family. It's that you don't want to be with the family. Some of y'all will catch that later on. So I'm tying all this this in together um, because when I was talking to this brother earlier, you know, he I can really feel the frustration in his spirit, you know, from his heart because he say every year his family fight at Christmas time, and then he started asking me about my family, you know. First of all, when did the Lord ever stop giving? Hmm. When did the Lord ever stop giving when the Lord gave the greatest gift? That's why I say the Lord has been giving all year long. The Lord never stops. We do. We got to wait on a special day to, to try to feed the homeless and, and, and clothe the naked and, 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 and people that are really in need. When you got folks sitting in need every day of the week, you got folks sitting in the church that's in need right now as I'm speaking, and they can't even get help from their own church. Hmm. You got more people that put more emphasis on holidays and, and not really taking care of the loved ones that, that really need help. So when I see this stuff, I see so much that's wrong with it. But at the same time, I like to tell people, you do what you do. You love it, you love it. You like it, you like it. I hate it, I hate it. Oh, I know what I was in growing up. And what I saw growing up. So I'm saying I'll let to say this. When the, when the Lord gave the greatest gift, we supposed to be, we supposed to be imitating Christ. Then we should be showing love. It shouldn't be no such thing as this is just a giving season. It's supposed to be giving all the time. Because one thing about a season, a season in. Come on, somebody. So after December, this month of December, just like Thanksgiving blew by, Christmas going to blow by, New Year's going to blow by. After these holidays blow by, where is your giving at then? Where is your being with the family at then? Most people finna get broke behind buying things and it trips me out when I see so many pastors getting up talking about how they done got broke behind Christmas then they complaining about the bills at the house and the house no money I done dipped into this and dipped into that and you ain't even teaching your child a true meaning <laughs> let me leave that alone cause I just I just felt like a pastor was looking at me and he just cut it off this is love y'all I'm I gotta keep it real with y'all I'm gonna start Start up a new page, probably just call it Keeping It Real with JT. So when I think about what's going on right now in this month, most of y'all right now, especially in the black family, the black race, you just got a phone call or you just got a text that says something pretty much like this. We having a gathering at such and such house. We need to see what you're going to bring. Can you bring the soda water? Can you bring some green beans? Who's going to bring the paper plates? Somebody need to bring the potato salad. We're going to have a long list of bring and bring and bring, but ain't nobody really bringing no love. Hmm. And the thing is, once again, with me, I can't stand being around fake people. I hate it with a passion. You getting ready to be at that table and you looking across the table and you the one in front of you is your brother-in-law who you ain't spoke to all year and you can't stand him because he ain't never really 
you know, apologize to you. Then you look to the left, your sister over there who you ain't spoke to in five or six years, you can't stand up, but you're sitting there with a smake, uh, excuse me, a fake smile on your face. It's all fake. Not everybody, though. I'm just saying, these are some of the things I'm pouring out that I can't stand, you know, because if you're going to be fake, I don't want to be around you. You got you got a whole lot of women that's sitting around the table. No, they can't stand their brother's wife or girlfriend. Hey, girl. Oh, that's cute what you got on. I like your boots. Then you turn to your, your other one that you cool with. I can't stand that B. Ooh, why he? Why did he have to pick her? Ain't no love. But you just act all fake with a waving and talking about you like her boots and all this stuff. And then me and we the same way. Man, why that nigga had to pull up in his bins? He always want to outdo everybody. Look at the little fancy clothes on. You hating on him because he got more than you. He doing a little bit better than you, so you don't have nothing good to say. This is what's coming to the table a lot of times at Christmas time. So when I think about this, this is the spirit of, of giving. This is the holiday season. Let's act like family. I don't play games. It ain't time. No, I can't play that acting game with you. I'm going to either be your brother or I ain't going to be your brother at all. One thing I tell every last one of my blood brothers, I have a twin brother, an older brother, and a younger brother. We keep it real with each other. We we broke that curse from the generation of my my dad and his brothers. See, that's a, that's a whole nother story, a whole nother video. When I look at my brothers, we, we have our ups and downs, but best believe if I got a problem with my twin brother, I'm going to jack him up. If he got a problem with me, he going to jack me up. We going to put it on the table and see that that's that's real love. You know, going to the getting to the root of the problem. And, and if you got a problem with that person, instead of all this sitting up being fake stuff. That's why I always say, man, the hell with these holidays, y'all. But that's just me speaking for me if you plan a part of the stuff I do not hate you I love you I just tell you don't expect me to do what you do I say this a lot because some people think what I'm saying they they, they take it the wrong way and he hate he hate Christians or he hate people that do I don't hate nobody I just don't play a part some of us ain't seen our family and I don't know how long and then we got the nerd to want to get up in these funerals Sad thing is somebody ain't going to be sitting at the table next week. They already dead. Somebody going to be having a funeral next week. And we already got to get up in the church. Well, family, if you ever need me, don't hesitate to call. Man, they can't call you. They ain't even known your number or where you been in the last 10, 15 years. We so quick to want to get up and, and, and show people that we care. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words. You just said some words, but where have your actions been at all year long? When your brother was suffering, he needed he needed help to help him with his bills. His wife got laid out. We sit up here talking about if you need me. How the hell he gonna need you now? And he in the he in the casket, but you talking to the rest of the family. I gotta pay my respects, man. I, I, how do you pay respects to the dead? How do you say good words to the man that can't hear you no more? The woman that can't hear you no more? God Almighty. Holidays. Christmas time. We got to act like we family. When a funeral and holidays bring people together, don't you see people get even more mad with each other? I always say a funeral is just like a magnet. You know, I, I'm just using this for an example, one of my little studio boxes. If this was a magnet, and we know that a magnet draws, you know, that certain material, this magnet would draw things from north, south, east, and west. If it was even something on the city, and it would fall down. That's what a funeral does. This is the funeral. It draws people from all parts of the world. It don't matter what color people are. They are come to that funeral because that funeral is going to draw. People are going to fly in, drive hours and hours just to come to that funeral because they know I ain't going to see them no more. They dead and gone. I'm paying respects. But why is it we don't drive all year long to do certain things for each other? Y'all, y'all with me? Y'all, y'all with me, my brothers and sisters. It don't matter where you at with a funeral. That funeral will go. Oh, we got everybody together. But after them days go by, 
and that funeral is over with, and the ones that lost their loved ones, when they go back to that house where their loved one is not there no more, who is there to comfort them? Everybody went their separate ways after the funeral. The one that lost their loved one got to deal with it each and every day that they wake up all during the day, looking to the right, and their wife ain't there no more. Or looking to the left, and their husband ain't there no more. I was just talking to this brother at the barber shop that lost his wife last month. He said it ain't easy. Sometimes he don't even want to live no more. And here it is, he going to have Christmas time without his wife, without his oldest son, and whoever else that have passed, he gonna be sitting at the table all alone. Mm. So what do I see? I see more people putting emphasis on Santa Claus, the holiday, the spirit of giving. But when it comes to really serving the Lord and talking about Jesus, we always talking about Jesus, the reason for the season. Jesus has been the reason for it all. That's why we're still here. That's why we waking up every day. When it comes to being real, y'all, y'all know I'm going to say what a lot of people are scared to say. Most people right now are already angry because they don't want to give. And then some getting mad because they didn't get what they wanted. And that goes from grown-ups all the way down to the children. But this supposed to be the spirit of giving the holiday season. One day, <laughs> I wonder how many gonna give in January. We go out and spend thousands and, and on the holidays and Christmas and Black Friday. But when Sunday morning come, man, put that two dollars in for me. And I'm not about to preach no prosperity message, no giving message. I'm just keeping real on how we do. We will go to the mall or go shopping or buy our most favorite thing or buy a girlfriend, buy a boyfriend this, buy a husband, our wife that. But when church come, man, put that $2 in there. Fold it up, ball it up, make it look like it's about 20 Spend $200 on that coat. Get that Xbox. But when it comes to Sister Mary on this front row, she need she need to borrow, not borrow, but I'm saying borrow because some of these churches make you pay it back. Y'all will catch that. But when Sister Mary need a hundred, a hundred, let's say a hundred and fifty dollars for her light bill because she's struggling, we gotta call the meeting. Well, she ain't really been no member, brother Deacon. Uh, let's let's call the meeting about that because how long she been here? Oh, I done made some of y'all mad because I'm talking about the way your church operate. Oh, she ain't she ain't really no member. When did Jesus ever have a membership list? When did you have to be on a roll call for the Lord to do something for you? Let me tell you something. I don't have to know you and I don't care where you at and what color you are for me to do something for you. Ooh, man, it's 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 hot up in here, y'all. I know this don't this don't feel too good for a lot of people because you sitting up now you're really thinking about your family and how messed up they are and how after this this December 25th when it's over it's going to be right back to normal. This ain't no giving season for me. My giving is all the time. It's just another day that I'm going to give. It ain't no season because the season runs out. I was sharing with Miss Shirley at the barber shop, who I've been knowing since I was a little boy. And Miss Shirley said, well, brother, yeah, have you, you, you done your Christmas shopping? I know you got a long list, and, and, and we got to talk about Christmas. And we then that led to talking about how we grew up, which kept it in a real talk conversation because we got each other's attention because we reflected back on how, even though she's older than me, but she reflected back on how tough it was growing up. And I reflected on how tough it was for me growing up. Because first of all, what in the hell was a Santa Claus when you in the hood? Man, you be thankful to have your lights on. You be thankful to have your gas on. How many times did we come home, mama, and the lights was off? Hmm. I said, no, I ain't done no shopping, mama, and I'm not going to do no shopping. I'm trying to pay these bills I got. 
I got a whole lot of things to pay for. Trying to keep these lights on, keep this gas in the car. This is due. Car insurance is due. I got a long list of everything that's due. So the hell we're going out shopping. Now if somebody want to put something on these bills, I had to make mama laugh with that. Because I said I got a whole lot of things to pay for and it's tough when it's just you. When you don't have a help me. That's why I don't depend on nobody for nothing. I said mama, you know when I was growing up, you know what my new clothes was? My new clothes was when they got, when my big brother clothes got too little for him. And I would put them on and put them in a dryer and shrink them down just a little bit because he's 6'4". But I could shrink them in that dry and go to school like I got a new shirt on. And then when I get through wearing it, I hand it over to my twin brother. That way he go to school like he got a new shirt on. And then somebody always, because kids can be some cruel little jokers, boy. Oh, your brother had that shirt on yesterday. That was your big brother's shirt. Did y'all get the... Y'all ain't got a Nintendo yet? Y'all didn't get no games for Christmas? Man, what's wrong with your family? We struggling. Man, by the time we got a Nintendo, <laughs> Sega Genesis probably was, was probably out. Or what? We had an Intellivision. A lot of y'all is old school. Y'all remember an old game called Intellivision? The joystick looked like an old telephone. Boy, that thing took an hour just to cut on. Wasn't no fun in that thing. I remember growing up. That's why I said, no, I don't, I'm not about to buy nobody nothing, mama. I come home plenty of times, get out of school. Mama got the candles lit. Well, I don't, I don't have enough money, y'all. We just got to, we'll get them on soon. Looking at that sad look in my mama eye. Then we get the lights back on. Woo! -hoo, the lights back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the water off. I got to go next door, y'all. I got this big pot in here. Let me go get this big pot and boil it so I can get y'all some bath water going. We all took baths in the same water. Don't tell me I don't know nothing about hard times, because I do. We get the water on, then the gas is off. And you know back then you had a gas stove and a Dearborn heater. How mama used to try to take that, that money and stretch it. This is bill money, but some kind of way I got to stretch this out of this to get some groceries. And then we got to have something to try to put half of this on this water bill. I got to do something. And, and, and we talking about Christmas time, and it's amazing how what none of them around us was saying here y'all go, man. Get your lights on. They would say, Merry Christmas. We're going to pray for y'all. What? It... Woo, Lord help me. Thank you for your prayer, but this prayer is not going to pay the light bill. This prayer is not going to put food on the table. Thank you for your prayer, but that prayer is not going to get the gas back on. But we the church. So I'm talking about family and what I went through. And why I started at a young age appreciated the little things in life. If I didn't get nothing, that was fine with me. I told my mama when I was, I want to say when I was 14 or 15, I said, when I get out of high school, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really get a better job because I'm already working. We was working at 14 and 12 and 13 years old. I said, but I'm going to start putting some food on the table. I'm going to do something to help y'all out. Then my daddy got real sick. I almost died. They cut him each and every way. He'll tell you right now to this day how cut up his body is when he almost died in 1998. When he almost died not too long ago. And when you get down and your health is strength and you can't do nothing. And the government show ain't helping you. You see what happens. JT, why are you saying all of this? Because it ain't no Merry Christmas for me. For me is, what can I do for you? Who can I go check on? Who needs some groceries? I'm still working with the North Texas Food Bank and Brother Willie. Can I bring some, some, some groceries to your house? And I don't have to know you. Who need it? That's every day for me. Every day. 
So when I think of this, let's act like a family because it's December 25th. I'm not finna act like I'm family. I am family. You can miss me with this acting game. Y'all, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing in this video. I just want y'all to know the real side of me. And then when I see the real side of all these fake people in this world, I'm, I'm tired of trying to gather around with folks who keep getting into it on holidays, who can't stand each other. They don't even love the Lord, but they claim they love the Lord and hate their brother who they ain't spoke to in years. Just like church. It's bad enough you see it in so many churches. People who are religious, who can't get along with each other, and, 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 and spiritual people versus religious people. You see it all the time, and then you see it even on the day that's supposed to be Jesus' birthday. That's why I don't celebrate no 25th. That ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. Just my that's just how I'm gonna stand on that. So I'm not finna don't don't ask me to do a tutorial talking about teaching you this other song or whoever your name was. I'm done with that stuff. I don't have nothing against people that want to do it once again, but for me, I'm not doing, once again, to go back to the beginning of the video, I'm not doing no Christmas album, I'm not doing no tutorials on Christmas music, I'm done with a lot of stuff, I'm just done with it, I'm, I'm fed up with it, so like it or leave it, so with that being said, y'all, just... you know, had to keep it real because I told y'all, when y'all keep asking me these questions, you might get you might start getting mad at a lot of these answers, but but I want y'all to know who I am. This is me. This is me every day. This is just simple old me. I'm not better than you. You not better than me. So I hope some of y'all can take this out of love and to the ones that hate this message. The ones that hate it, <laughs> as I close is the ones that's causing all the hell in their family. Because a spiritual person that's keeping it real like I am, they will say he's telling a lot of truth, even though you don't agree with everything, but you're going to say he's telling the truth about family and in family holidays. Just like a family reunion. Look at most black families. What do they do? Fight. Fall out. Kill each other. Just like February, we want to say, come on y'all, this is Black History Month. Let's act like you know, we're going to get along this month, black people. Let's don't murder each other. Let's don't hate on each other. Baby daddies and baby mamas, let's get along. This is just a bunch of stupid stuff. So we see what holidays and all this traditional stuff has done to most people. May the Lord bless you.